Entitlement reaches all walks of life, as you'll find out in this episode of Entitled People. Our first one is from C. Mieber. I ran into this store during lunch because I thought it wouldn't be very busy. I was wrong. They mailed me a 20% off my entire purchase coupon, so I was going to buy a few of those scent pod things. Anyway, I have the coupons sticking out of my front pocket of my purse. Not super far, it was tucked in safely in the front pocket. I don't know why anyone would notice it there. I never look at other people that closely anyhow when I'm out shopping. I kinda just keep my eye on the prize so to speak. Not looking around at other people's purses, that's for sure. So I'm looking at the scent pods, smelling some, staying in my lane, and someone taps my shoulder. I turn around and this lady asks, Are you going to use that coupon? I'm really taken aback, because I'm literally in the store that the coupon is for. If I'm shopping in the store with a coupon, I'm probably going to use it. So even though I'm usually polite, I'm shocked enough by being interrupted by such a brazen question that I'm like, yes, that's why I'm here. She says, oh, the 20% off coupon? Yes, I try to turn back around. She taps me again. Well, do you think they'll let us both use it? Um, well, I don't think so. At this point, she changes her tone and gets rude with me. Well, how do you know? Have you asked before? Now, I'm not the most assertive person, so I was like, well, I could ask when I go up to the register. This lady holds out her hand and says, well, you can let me try it first, and then I'll ask them. And I'm just standing there staring at her. Like, what the fuck? The audacity. And does she think I'm dumb? Like, sure, you use the coupon first on your stuff, then ask if I can use it, when they'll inevitably say no, and I'll be the one out of luck. Shaking my head. So I finally say, no, sorry, I'll ask when I go up, and then just turn around and walk a few steps away. I tuck the coupon in deeper into my pocket, because at this point, she was bold and worried that she'll grab it. She watches me for a while, but I just keep looking at other things, trying to avoid eye contact. When I do go up to pay, the cashier just takes the coupon and puts it in their register. I didn't even ask if I could use it again because I didn't want to be that person. Then I quickly walked out of the store, eyes forward so I wouldn't have to see this woman again. <laughs> This happened a few weeks ago, but I just found this subreddit today and it reminded me of it. I still can't believe people like that. And the thing is, she was already at the store with stuff in her bag. She was already planning to buy things. Nothing in that store is necessary. <laughs> she just spied my coupon and was like, hmm, I could get this cheaper. For fuck's sake. The fact that this lady was so bold to actually approach you and even ask such a thing is like, it just makes you question what was going through their mind to tell them that that was actually a good idea. This next one is by TiggleBiddies2022. This happened a couple weeks ago. I, 34 female, work in a government office in my province. It's a rewarding job, but it doesn't pay very well, and I absolutely love having my nails done. My nails have been pretty shit my entire life, flaky and weak. No matter what oil, supplement, whatever, I try, and I used to have a bad habit of chewing them. So I bought myself a $50 gel kit from Amazon and started doing them myself about a year ago. I have a nice little setup at this point, and I'll do my friend's nails from time to time. I've also completely stopped chewing them. I brought my kit to work the other day because I was going to a friend's house after to do her nails as a favor before a party. My friend offered to buy a pizza and we were planning to watch a movie afterwards. I made the mistake of discussing this plan with a coworker when she noticed the kit sitting on top of my locker when she came in. Small lockers and I didn't want to put it on the floor where I put my dirty walk to work shoes. Oh. My. God. This woman, 50-ish, spent the four hours leading up to lunch badgering me about how I should give her a manicure on our lunch break. 
I had my favorite teal shade on and she talked about how much she loved it and how she never gets her nails done because her husband thinks it's a waste of money and how I can get some practice and it would be so nice of me and and and. I said it first gently, more than once, and then I thought pretty firmly that I would be eating lunch on my break before I gave up and just responded to everything she said with a non-committal grunt. When I got up to go, she tried to act like we agreed to it and she would grab her stuff and meet me in the lunchroom. I had to look her in the eye and say, Lady, I'm going to eat during my 30 minute unpaid lunch break, not give you a free manicure. Please drop this, you're making me uncomfortable. She has refused to speak to me or look directly at me since. She's mostly remote and kind of annoying, so that's not a problem. She's also shit-talked me behind my back. Some of my coworkers have told me about it, and she's a huge gossip with a massive chip on her shoulder about everything. So I can only assume most people in the office have heard her harrowing tale. Luckily, everyone who's talked to me about it agrees she's being a complete clown. But seriously, who the fuck asks a coworker you're barely even friendly with for a free manicure, let alone insists upon it for hours? The only person I can think of would be this lady, and I feel like anything that she sees in the world or that somebody else has, she just magically feels entitled to and is inclined to gravitate towards them to basically make her demands. I'm glad here she did not get her way. And our final one is from Lee J Cat. One of my neighbors knocked on my door and asked if I would move out of the parking lot so that their friend could park closer to our apartment buildings. The neighbor tells me that her friend is pregnant and needs a closer spot. We have a shared parking lot between the two buildings and each unit gets one unassigned space. I was sitting there in my wheelchair, physically out of breath because the neighbor was pounding on my door. I thought something was really wrong, so I hurried. I used up every last ounce of energy I had in my body. I have a condition that drains me of energy. I sat there completely dumbfounded at this request, blinking twice. I'm sorry, what? I pay for a parking spot because I live here. Also, why would you expect someone in a wheelchair to move? I would have had to move my car and really physically exert myself getting up the giant hill that I live on. I was annoyed that they had interrupted my working from home for such a request. I thought for a moment and then said, Sure, your friend can have my spot. That'll be $50 for the inconvenience of having to wheel myself up the hill and for what I paid for it with my rent. Yeah, they weren't too happy with my request, but it's the truth. I get one unassigned parking space that's included with my rent. You want to use it? You can pay for it too. You know what kind of baffles me? Why isn't the neighbor happily giving up of their spot? If their friend is the one that's pregnant, is the neighbor magically pregnant too? Is there any reason why this neighbor can't give up their spot for their friend? Why go and ask your neighbor to do such a thing? I, I just, I guess the entitlement really runs deep in some. Alright, that's enough stories for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Entitled People. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.